ladies and gentlemen. Philly police have always had a bad relationship with the black community. I remember this as far back as my childhood, and actually it went beyond that. It's always been a bad situation between the cops and the community. I, I've always seen it that way, just like we always see it that way today. You got to understand, these people put this slave patrol in place to keep us under control. And they're never going to tell the cops to conduct themselves any other way when it comes down to us. It's going to always be the same way until America no longer exists. They're going to do this mess up until the bitter end. And another problem is the people that they keep putting in charge are very out of touch with that relationship. They are. They're out of touch. And they have no understanding and don't want it. They, they willfully are ignorant about it and they don't want the understanding. You got to understand, they don't, they don't want this to change. So if you don't want a bad culture of cops and the black community to change, then you act ignorant about the whole thing and you just keep it moving. And that's what they have done from Washington all the way down to the local uh, politicians, they just act ignorant to the whole thing. And you act ignorant, you don't fix it. But at this point, do you really want to fix anything between black people and the uh, police department? I, I'm sure not going to bond with them. So <laughs> there you go. So this came out in NPR August 17th, 2019. U.S. Attorney slams Philadelphia DA over culture of disrespect for law enforcement. And see, they always want to look at everything on a very slanted, one-sided way. You know, if you've been mistreated for centuries, how do you respect the very faces that are disrespecting you? It doesn't work that way. I don't understand why they have a hard time registering this. If I keep disrespecting a person over and over and over and over, but I get up and say, well, you better respect me. Eventually, don't you realize that's going to wear off? It wears off. Even bullying. Just watch the bullies at school. They can only bully so many people. And then it's always that one person that comes along and will fight the bully. And then the bully loses. That's usually how it works. And America right now is on a major losing streak that it won't acknowledge. But I'm kind of glad that you won't because when the real fall comes... You're all going to be out there crying your eyes out. So, the shooting of six police officers in Philadelphia earlier this week has provoked the region's top federal prosecutor to take swipes at the city's district attorney, William McSwain, who was appointed by Trump to serve as U.S. attorney for the Eastern District of Pennsylvania, released a blistering statement on Thursday attacking District Attorney Larry Krasner for promoting what he called a new culture of disrespect for law enforcement. Well, I got bad news for you, McSwain. That disrespect started decades ago. <laughs> okay, <laughs> decades ago. It is far from new. But again, these folks are willfully ignorant to what's really happening. McSwain said the hours long standoff between the gunmen and police was precipitated by a disrespect of flagrant and so reckless that the suspect immediately opened fire on every single officer within shooting distance. Since winning office in 2017, Kratner has attracted praise as well as some pushback for his record as one of the country's boldest 
progressive district attorneys. Krasner has been charging few defendants with crimes and de-emphasizing low-level offenses and railing against police misconduct. It is a record that Ms. Swain has left him fed up. Yes, you know, you got to come out on the street and crack the heads wide open and shoot unarmed people and, you know, do all the things they want to see done. You know, ladies and gentlemen, they're shooting us unarmed because that's what they want to see done. Just understand that. They want to see that happen. This is why they keep fighting us on it every time we bring it up. The people that are fighting us on it are the ones that want to see that done to our community. Just understand that's exactly what's happening. At the end of the day, they're all guilty. Every last one of them from law enforcement down to the citizens that are arguing on the behalf of the officers. They're all guilty. This vile rhetoric puts our police in danger. It disgraces the office of the district attorney and it harms the people in the city of Philadelphia and rewards the wicked, McSwain said. Well, McSwain, if you want to see the wicked, just get in the mirror. You'll see plenty of it. The tension between the two prosecutors have been brewing for months but the dramatic confrontation between the shooter and police on Wednesday pushed McSwain, a former Marine sniper, to make the most forceful comments to date against Krasner, who was a civil rights lawyer before becoming district attorney. McSwain accused Krasner of Creating lawlessness in Philadelphia. Well, I got bad news for you, McSwain. Lawlessness has always been in <laughs> Philadelphia. In fact, if you would just take those selective blinders off of your eyes, you would see lawlessness exist across the entire nation. Ooh, McSwain, you sound very out of touch. Maybe you shouldn't be no U.S. attorney. Claiming the federal prosecutors have pursued 70% more violent crimes this year as a direct response to Krasner's backing off prosecutions. So, in other words, this U.S. attorney that Trump appointed wants more of a harsh on crime, crack heads, shoot them in the back kill them for no reason, shoot everything, the kids, the women, the men, just, just kill them all. So he's upset over the standoff for very obvious reasons, y'all. Now, we've seen other standoffs. I never heard of a, a U.S. attorney coming out this strong. You know, I think I understand why he's upset about this standoff. See, they want it. Maurice Hill to die. They wanted him killed. The fact that he survived that shootout, that's what this U.S. Uh, general attorney that Trump appointed is upset about. He would be singing a whole different tune if Maurice Hill was killed. He would be singing a whole different tune right now. He lived, so he's pissed. That's what's going on here. Nothing more, nothing less. So that's why he's foaming at the mouth, ladies and gentlemen. Philadelphia has always been a very difficult kind of city when it comes down to the relationship between. That's why you see the people reacting that way, because those cops have gone in there and treated those people like crap. And, and see, people like McSwain will never acknowledge that. The people like him will gloss over anything that you say and just keep pointing at the fact that law enforcement's being disrespected. They don't want to piece together the truth because the truth will always reveal that these problems all stem from police training, prosecution, 
and the system they set up. Okay, the problems on the streets is the fault of the U.S. government. It always have been their fault. It always will be their fault. You can keep pointing at us and talk about criminal and black on black crime. All of this, all of this, if you go in the history, points right back to this government. All of it. So when they point the finger at us, we point the finger right back. To where it originated from. Okay, we didn't write black code laws in the black community. We didn't write slave code laws. We didn't tell cops to go out on the street and treat us totally different from everybody else. This government did that. This government did it. So if you're complaining, tough shit. Please Tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. It's people like William McSwain that sit at the top, watch all this stuff happening, and does nothing. It's your fault. Peace, family.